ETC got started because we had, Umi and I, in high school, we had put together a brand. So it had kind of transitioned from a brand in high school to a brand in college, and then we kind of jumped into the real world, and then we had finally decided, well, if we're gonna go ahead and run with this, the time to do it is now. T-shirts had become something that everyone had begun to do, so we were decided how do we make ourselves different, and we jumped into accessories. And accessories kind of breeds where et cetera comes from because it meant like the, the extras, things that weren't necessarily, that are not necessity, but you need or you want to influence into your, your wardrobe or your lifestyle. The audience that we cater to is a, is a high school uh, and then secondary school audience. Um, and then what happens is because it's such like a, it's a cult culture, I want to say, people get really invested in the brands from a lifestyle standpoint. And so it extends that age range all the way up to like 45. It's kind of like a mix between like skate and like hip hop and sports and maybe a little bit of what you would consider high fashion. It's kind of all that stuff meshed in because we pull ideas from everywhere when we're coming up with designs. Our graphics are often satirical. Uh, they're definitely witty. Um, and so for us, it's all about playing off of like the names, nicknames, like to Grit City and Tacoma Aroma, of course, and anything that has to do with the tea dome and that sort of thing. Um, and that is really what we hone in on. And, and what continues to push us in finding those graphics is that we just look deeper and deeper into Tacoma history. I think it is probably prevalent in other cities as well, but Tacoma, it really stands out because you could even say that five or six years ago, people didn't really want to wear a t-shirt that said Tacoma on it. You know, people weren't as proud of where they were from as they are now, and we've seen uh, like the emergence of like the go Tacoma people that will come in here and buy a uh, Tacoma t-shirt or a Tacoma hoodie or whatever. A lot of the stuff says Tacoma on it, and we just try to flip it in like certain ways that makes it a little cooler so that a uh, younger like high school kid you know would want to actually wear the shirt at school as opposed to maybe like a 50 year old who just wants a shirt that says to come on it because we know that we need to appeal to both crowds. Now Tacoma uh, as far as arts go really blossoming um, and that is what we are part of is the arts culture so uh, yeah, right now I feel like it's amazing. Everybody wants to do something creative, and so there's like so much to look through as far as, you know, just what fits our aesthetic. All of it's good, most of it is good, pardon me, in, in our opinion, but it's really about what works for us, uh, where we can plug someone in and know that what they're building as far as their brand or their culture or lifestyle uh, is parallel to what we have going on here.